Hey, what's up everybody? This is Justin Johnson with another unboxing for you guys today. Today, we are going to be checking out a new guitar from Baldacci Guitars out in Arizona. I've actually never played a Baldacci guitar, I just heard about them recently. But uh, after checking out some of the stuff they have online and uh, having some good conversations with the uh, owner of Baldacci Guitars and seeing the kind of passion that they put into their instruments, not just their instruments, but like every detail of the process of building instruments, um, I'm just really excited about checking this out and sharing it with you guys. So before uh, we begin, as always, let me unleash the power of my ceremonial unboxing knife. <laughs> All right, let's check this baby out. First of all, this is this has got a nice weight to it. I uh, I know it's a solid body, and uh, it feels like one. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, look at that, that's beautiful. That's right, nice. Man, I love the figure to the top right here. Beautiful shape, beautiful contour. Man, I love the, the binding here, really sets the uh, shape of the body off, you know, really punches out there. Also love that they have this real simple but really artistic inlay on the 12th fret. And uh, that was the uh, a design that I think that uh, the owner, uh, creator of Baldacci Guitars, uh, he designed that when he was like eight years old, I think, and uh, drew it for his, his grandpa when they went to the Bighorn Mountains in Wyoming. And uh, that's actually where the name of this model came from. This is called the uh, Bighorn model. Yeah, man, it's got a great weight to it. This is like the perfect weight for a solid body guitar. It's got enough weight to where it, it, you feel it and it has that kind of like you know it's going to sustain but at the same time it's it's nice and you know it's pretty thin um, considering how you know sturdy and, and how um, balanced it is the neck's got some nice weight to it also and it looks like um, mahogany body mahogany neck um, I'm thinking that looks like rosewood for the fretboard and uh, just looks beautiful, man. It's so comfortable also, just the shape of it. It almost feels transparent. I love these like brushed, uh, the brushed look on these uh, pickups too. You know, they're, they're kind of like chrome or nickel, um, but they've got this like brushed look to where they have like a matte finish. And uh, these pickups, they're by a company called Dark Moon, but they were designed in cooperation like very closely with the, uh, the builders at Baldacci Guitars. Oh, and uh, really quick too, a note about this color um, is that this is the new, a new color that they're offering. Uh, this is the first guitar they've actually put this uh, color tone on. And it's so new actually that they decided to uh, open it up to my fans to name the color. So in this video, in the comments section, uh, if you guys think of any cool names that you think uh, kind of feels like this color, just write them in the comments section and they're going to pick from your comments to decide what to name it. It's going to be cool. All right, so it looks beautiful, feels great. Let's plug it in and see what this baby sounds like. All right, I got it plugged in and uh, I'm running through the uh, third channel here in my uh, Triamp, Hughes & Kettner. It's, it's got kind of a British sound, uh, not too dirty, not too clean. So I thought it'd be a good sort of, uh, you know, testing ground for, for this electric. I'm gonna start off in the middle position, both pickups, and just kind of get to know it a little bit. So sweet, man, what a responsive guitar. And what I really like, you know, especially with a, a mahogany body, mahogany neck, 
humbuckers. There's a tendency a lot of times for the, the transients, you know, which is the attack and the treble, the high end side of the tone to kind of get muted a lot of times. Um, and it's more like a beefy, chunky sound. This has a really sweet, really mellow, but a really pronounced high end. And uh, I'm really digging it. It's set up so nicely too. The fretboard's got a real slight radius. It's not too rounded, which, um, you know, I'm gonna play some slide on it later. I know it's gonna be good for slide already. And it, it's set up just perfectly. I love it. Plus, you know, it's nice because you, you give it some, uh, you give it some meat, like some power in the attack, and it, it hits the amp really nicely. It gives it a little bit of that breakup. But when you dial it back and you and you do a lighter touch, the body, the resonance, the pickups, everything responds to that. So you can really play with dynamics, you know, like without changing any amp settings or any, you know, volume. I've got the tone and volume all the way up right now. You can uh, really just play mellow. <laughs> Then maybe dig in, get a little more dirt. So I'm going to explore some of the different settings on this guitar and see what kind of tones I can get out of it. So I'm going to flip over to just the neck pickup. And again, I'm a full on of 10 on the volume and 10 on the tone. And we're going to start messing around with some of these settings and see what kind of character this guitar has. I'm just going to dial the volume back just a hair and see if I can uh, control some of that gain. back up just like a whole different guitar really starts screaming i'm going to dial the uh, tone maybe back to half and get a little bit warmer sound let me dial it all the way back just to get to know it man it's got a great uh, great range on the tone knob I think somewhere around like like maybe three or four it has a nice mellow tone and uh, that kind of moaning tone 
Let's go to that bridge pickup now, which will be twangier, and maybe we can get some of those uh, like kind of country tones or you know rock and roll lead guitar sort of. Uh... Yeah, it really cuts through. Let me dial that tone back a little bit. So I was talking about how the fretboard's got a nice radius to it, but it's not too radius. So um, it's, I think it's going to be perfect for slide guitars. So uh, let me dial in a, a open tuning here. Uh, maybe we'll go to like open E and uh, I'll have some fun with the slide. It's got great sustain too. Let's see, same tuning. Again, I haven't changed the amp settings at all this entire video. But I'm gonna go to the uh, the bridge pickup. I'm gonna dial the tone back a little bit, dial the volume back, try to get some of that old like uh, like early uh, twangy kind of electric blues. Thank you. 
I love that sustain. Just listen to that. Like right when you think it's going to cut out, it just has that nice leveled out sustain. And that is a sign of a really well built guitar. Uh, the wood is like speaking uh, to the other parts of the instrument. You know, the body and the neck are one piece. Um, I don't know exactly what it is too, but I, I also uh, heard that the tuners are specifically designed to help increase sustain and resonance also. So again, the bridge, the body, the tuners, everything is here to make this guitar sound like this guitar, you know? Not just like, you know, and again, the pickups are great, but they're also designed not to just sound like a certain pickup. They're designed to sort of embrace the natural tone of the guitar and accentuate it for you instead of just being like a pickup tone. And you know, I can really tell, I was kind of curious what that would be like, but uh, the best word I can, you know, think of for it is responsive. For this whole guitar, it just responds to your every nuance. And that's a really tough thing to do from a building standpoint with an electric guitar. All right, and remember guys, uh, this color here does not have a name yet. So um, you guys are the ones uh, who have the responsibility to name this color. So have some fun with it. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with again. Leave some comments in the uh, comment section here and uh, tell us what you think this baby should be called. You might be the one to name it. All right, I want to thank you guys for watching. Also want to thank Baldacci Guitars and Guitar World. And uh, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, I mean, you watched it this far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you get notified next time I upload a video. And uh, thanks uh, for watching, guys. See you next time.